Hello. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clements, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. It's too early to think of anything to say, honestly. Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy, buy, buy it all. Get your f***ing ass up and join my Patreon. And when I say it's early, I mean it is 9.34 in the morning, but it's early in the sense that... <laughs> I don't sleep till like 3 a.m. It is Monday morning and I just uploaded my Asking Strangers About Their Exes video. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back in New York doing those street interviews. But I just ended the last vlog and I just want to start a new one so, you know, these aren't like 45 minutes long. I'm going to the house today because <laughs> there was an issue with my vanity. The top never came so we're trying to find where the countertop to my vanity is. <laughs> when the fuck is this process gonna be over? <laughs> so I just left the house, but my vanity is in my bathroom and it looks so fucking good in that little nook. We still don't have the top for it. Of course, it's never a dull moment. This is the drain for my shower floor and it is the ugliest fucking color that doesn't match literally anything in the home. I'm going back to the tile place that I selected all of my shit from to go find a new color. The party's just begun. So this was the old one and because it was special order, can't return it. This is the new one that we got and it matches the floor almost perfectly and it has like a nice texture to it. So back to the house we go. So here's the bathroom with my vanity in it. We're still trying to figure out where the fucking top is. But now we're going through shower floor tiles and removing all the sheets that have like really dark patterns in it and going for more of like the lighter tones. And then my shower floor will be tiled. All of the shower walls are coming in in August. Well no, they're in the garage but they need like a special person to install them because they are large format panels. I wish I had the brain cells, the brain capacity to explain this better, but I really don't. Another fun thing is that the farmhouse sink arrived and it's cool because I can either have a flat front or a curved front, which is so awesome because I just love making more decisions about all of this. So because nothing is simple, uh, the cabinets we ordered, I guess, didn't have the thing for a farmhouse sink. So now they literally have to cut the cabinet to fit the sink. So I'm at the house just dropping some stuff off. I figured I'd show you all the updates from today. All of the cabinets have their little pulls on them now. Look how good they look. Ah! Oh my gosh, the door handles have been put on. Mmm, such a nice solid door. And I believe that my shower floor has been installed. <gasps> oh my god, look at how beautiful that looks. Guys, and this is the drain that we picked up together. Oh my god, they put the door stoppers in. Oh my god, and the sink is in. Holy shit. My contractor is on crack. So what he basically had to do was cut and customize this whole cabinet, even though the cabinet is custom. If you guys remember, there were two drawer facade panels right there. Those are gone, and now we have to order custom doors for down here. What goes behind here? Just like secrets? These doors came in, and we're waiting for the panel to come up here. It's a lot of little shit carrying me through the day because I'm just, there's been so many fucking holdups and all of that shit, and I'm just like starting to lose my mind. I feel like such a bitch complaining about all of this because it's like, wow, literally customizing my home to every single way I could want it. Now before we get into the rest of the video, this is such an exciting house date, but this video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Y'all know I have worked with Helix Sleep endlessly and I love them, I love their beds. If you don't know, Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that creates mattresses and bedding that fit your unique needs and ships it right to your door. Everybody is different and Helix knows that, which is why they created their sleep quiz which will match your unique body type and sleep preferences into the perfect mattress for you. So when I took the Helix sleep quiz, I said that I'm a side sleeper, I love a medium firmness, I needed a queen bed. I know it's for my guest room, but I figured I might just also want to sleep in there one night too. And I was matched with the incredible Helix Midnight Lux, which just showed up at my door. Oh my god, I finally feel like I'm home. This is magic. Just kidding. It's Helix Midnight Lux. Rawr. To me, there is not a mattress that even comes close to Helix, but if you're nervous to buy something that you haven't tried out, Helix gives you more than three months to try it out for yourself, and if you don't like it, they will come pick it up and give you a full refund. I just can't emphasize enough how nice it is to have this 
good of a mattress come right to my door. Who wants to have a slumber party? I do. Sleep is like one of the most important things that you can do for yourself and having a good mattress like this is just, oh, indescribable. So if you want to try Helix out for yourself, be sure to go to the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash chrisclemens to get up to $200 off all mattress orders plus two free pillows. Thank you so much Helix for continuing to not only support my channel but to support my back and my healthy sleep cycles. Ah! Oh! I love you guys. I have to go sleep in my living room now. It is Wednesday and I've got a meeting in an hour and a half but I figured this morning, Bookie, do you want to go shopping? Ew! These fucking like lantern bugs or whatever the fuck they are. Get. Oh god. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Yes, windshield. Yes. Slay. $230 later, we are back in the car and I filmed nothing because Booger just kept lunging for the door. Booger, you might be the only person I know who hates shopping that much. Alrighty, we're back and we're gonna do a little haul. First up, we got this little bed that Booger already loves and it's so cute and you look so cute on it. The next thing I got was a new Kong for her. Always avoid tennis balls, but I got this. I also got a two pack. Eh, eh, eh. You weren't excited in the store and now you are. I got two of these uh, Take It Slow feed bowls that are white uh, and they're just pretty and they're dishwasher safe. Then got her this big chew knuckle bone. Um, Alright, the things about today I got her a, a rope. Got her another antler. And then I got her some treats to cut bacon flavor and chicken nugget. Human grit. I don't fucking know. Are you so excited? Say thank you. That was really nice. That was really fucking cute. Okay, and now you're going into <laughs> Mom <laughs> come home. I'm scared. Do you like it? Do you like it? But do you like it? Stop trying to get the felt off right away and wow that just looks like a dick. Hey guys No, I'm not at a water park despite my appearance I'm back in New York because I'm filming a brand deal with Olipop tomorrow in Union Square Vlogging in public here is so different than vlogging in LA because everybody here feels like real people. Good morning guys It's 9 30 in the morning and I went to bed five hours ago. Last night I went to dinner with my friends Jilly and Lo. Lo was like my first ever, I would say like a real boss who like believed in me. And it's just so cool to see how far we've all come. And then afterwards my friend Dion uh, rang in his birthday at midnight so he had a thing in Brooklyn that I went to and that was super fun. And Parker and I then went three different places in the East Village. The Bowery Hotel was literally like, can you guys go? We're closing. Of course my dumbass planned a shoot at 9.30 in the morning, so I'm just laying here praying for death. I like can't cancel on people last minute like that. I'm waiting for some matcha to show up and some ice so that I can, you know, just make me look a little bit better. I don't know, I think I might still be drunk, so that's not great. I rubbed some ice cubes on my face, so I'm feeling a little bit more alive, and I put some skincare on, but I also ordered matcha from this place, Matcha Full in New York, and it is so fucking bomb. They have vegan and gluten-free baked goods as well. Cheers! We're going to our friend Dion's like picnic tonight. We have a bunch of like chips and salsa, but guys, we're in Whole Foods and motherfucking Loopy is too. You can now get Loopy bars, Whole Foods. I think it's in the Northeast. Side note, if you didn't know, I'm like the creative advisor, so that's why I'm so excited. It's not just like a random. These are so fucking good, guys. Get How's the soup? Good. No, I said the soup. Soup's good. You look so. <laughs> <laughs> this baptism is fucking lit. Trek for donkey dragon baby's name. We're in the car and we started this game where you bite your bottom lip and you have to hum a song. I slowly turned into me having to clarify, sir. I know it sounds like a kidnapping. <laughs> We're playing a stupid game. Oh, is that... Sean Kingston, Beautiful Girls. Uh-huh. <laughs> and all I need is... <laughs> Thank you.
So I just got back from New York. The vlogging on this trip was really chaotic. While I was there, a little package from Paris came that I ordered from Balenciaga Couture. I am truly shitting my pants about this. I have wanted these glasses for so long. Hi, I'm Batman, bitch. I just got back to Delaware and quickly got in the car to go with my mom to a work thing at the Philly Zoo. Fun fact, um, the last time I was here was in third grade and I contracted full body hives. Chris, did you go swimming once again? No. Why are you in the bathroom? Oh, um, that's a fun question. I was actually um, wiping bird shit off of me. Bird shit. Bird shit. Yeah, literal bird shit on my hand, my shirt, in multiple places. It's so fucking hot. It's so fucking hot. Oh my god. I just went to wipe my forehead and then remember that, that I still need to wash shit off of my hand. This is sick. I haven't vlogged in a few days just because nothing has happened. I am, however, 45 minutes away from New York City. I know, I should just fucking move here at this point. I'm filming a street interview video today. I'm excited because my contractor is back at my house after a week of taking off due to like a personal emergency in his life. But the basement floor, he said, should be finished today. The ceiling tiles for it are in stock. I don't even have to wait two to four weeks. Did you know that they cost 2,000 fucking dollars for a basement worth of ceiling tiles? But right now I'm driving through Satin Island, which is a first. And hopefully a last. No shade, love. I just, uh, it's a little chaotic to drive through. So we finished filming and I figured before I leave, since it's like an early dinner time, if I came to one of my favorite places, Mercer Kitchen, and had dinner. So now I'm at Mercer Kitchen eating dinner. You're out of focus. Now you are. <laughs> Just finished up eating with Justin, and now I'm heading home. And my contractor did some stuff, so maybe we'll stop by the house when we get home. Okay, guys, I'm at my house. Ew, there's a bug in here. Get out of here, fucking bug. Oh my god, there literally is floor down there, and it looks exactly the same. So now, when you go into my basement, there is floor. Holy shit. Wow, they got so much of this done and it looks great. This is gonna be like my little gym area and it looks so fucking good. Doors are gonna go in tomorrow and then this is gonna be the movie theater side and we're getting black uh, ceiling panels. The screen will be over there. And then this part they haven't gotten to yet is gonna be the bar and that's gonna be, be the bar. Wow, this is very exciting. Exciting. My kitchen that still looks the same from when you saw it. Other airline. What is the other airport that's closest to you? Like literally Philly. Yeah, the creative call would probably be a five if we have it. So. <laughs> I have to pack. So they could be at six when you're in a, when you're you know in the car. Doesn't oh, matter. that's perfect. Um, yeah, this is. I mean, I might as well be on the amazing race. Let me let me call it so that this flight doesn't book out though. Already, already, bye. Uh, so what you've missed is that I am flying to LA tonight. Basically, I'm going to LA to shoot with the brand Dolby. However, with it being Wednesday, I need to be back on Friday because all of my appliances are getting delivered, and I physically need to be there for that. They wanted to do Friday. I said I couldn't, so it's tomorrow. The shoot is tomorrow, and I land supposedly at 10:30 p.m. So let's go to LA, guys. So because Dolby Dolby is like doing the flights and hotels and all of that. They're also hiring a crew to do these street interviews. I just realized that I don't even know what I'm supposed to wear. Like, I don't know what to pack. <laughs> Oh shit. Alrighty, we are on the road take two because I did in fact forget my wallet. Yes. I have everything packed and by everything I mean two pairs of shorts and two t-shirts. And a just pussy full of dreams, bitch. I feel like literally the most psychotic bitch alive and that's because I'm the most psychotic bitch alive. Anyways, let's go to LA for 24 hours, baby. I fully plan on blacking out on this flight. Like, these flight attendants might as well tape two bottles of champagne to my hands because that'll just be less work for them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. But like, so excited, like, what a jet center. <laughs> oh, babes, I'm delirious.
Where's my little, like, oh my god, you have a whole, like, ceiling of windows. Where's my light? Hey, Siri, lighting. <laughs> Lighting Siri. So it appears that I drank and then fell asleep for the last two hours of my flight and now I'm in Los Angeles. People talking. They talk about me! Let me give you a little hotel room tour. So right as you walk in, you have a little wardrobe and I have a bedroom. I have a nice little living area. Oh my god, oh my god, I have a big ass living area. Just like all of LA, honey. Here's my bedroom and then here's my bathroom. How chic. Super cute. So, guys, Andrew's on his way up. Andy! Ah! Hello. Oh my god. Hi, bitches. It's Andy. Good morning, guys. It is like 8. 45 in the morning. I've been tossing and turning since like 6 a.m. because I'm on East Coast time. I have to get out of bed and ready because Katya and I are gonna get breakfast. Um, and I'm very excited. Cheers, big thing. <laughs> I have checked out of my hotel. Jake has picked me up and we are heading to set up. We are filming at the Dolby Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, so I definitely don't have enough sleep for this. No, like literally, I am so tired. But what are we gonna do? Persevere, girls. So I left my vlog camera in the car and didn't film anything, but we just wrapped on our shoot with Dolby. We were interviewing strangers on Hollywood Boulevard for like five hours. It was so fun, the Dolby team was great, and I just feel like it was so funny. But my feet hurt really bad, cause I'm a little babe. <laughs> I do have to leave for the airport in like three hours, but before I do that, I'm gonna go stop over at Claudia and Phineas's just to hang out. It's Phineas's birthday this weekend, and I'm obviously not gonna be here, so I thought it would be a fun little way to celebrate his birthday early. And see my friends. I really have like no concept of like what day, time, year it is. Tonight might be the first red eye that I actually sleep start to finish on. I don't know why Andrew and I stayed up so late last night watching Drag Race, but I went to bed at like 3 and woke up at 6. I had such a nice time at dinner, I didn't really vlog anything because just, I don't know, I, I have this like hard time with vlogging where I like really enjoy moments and taking out a camera is so just sometimes not the vibe. But Andy has offered to drive me to LAX and of course I said yes. And it's a pleasure to welcome you to Philadelphia where the local time here is 621 in the morning. Good morning. Am I on the wrong side of the road? Anyways, I found my car, which was quite an arduous process. This is like the first red eye that I slept on, like start to finish. Shout out to the gummies and the red wine. But right now I'm heading to my mom's house to shower and then we're heading to my house because all of the appliances and <gasps> my magical toilet, have I told you guys? I splurged and I did it. I bought my dream toilet. It has like heated seats, it washes my asshole. Like <laughs> Don't need this to say, it's a big day. Alright, I just got to the house, so let's see what's new while we wait for all the deliveries today. Oh my god, guys, the trim. <gasps> oh my god, over here with the doors in. Oh my god. These are gonna be the ceiling tiles that are gonna go up here. These are all gonna get like lined up. There are an incredible amount of spider webs. Oh my god, why are there? Now for this bathroom, I just saw on Etsy that the vanity top I have for it is done and it's gonna be shipping soon. So this is gonna basically just go across here and this is gonna be the sink that sits on top of it right here. My dream toilet is here. I cannot wait to take a shit. Like I can just see it now. 
The little panels along the top of the cabinets went up, so now it looks just like complete. The hood went on, which is very exciting. The pot filler, we found a place for. We're doing something with the sink to like fit it better. This isn't, this isn't fully attached, but obviously there's gonna be a green thing right there. And then in my bathroom, my vanity top is in. I just took the covers off the faucets and realized that this is a completely different sink than that. This is the correct one. This is not, I'm gonna freak the f Hey guys, so my mom and I had a fun day at the mall and I probably should have vlogged, but like we were just having such a vibe, so. Such a vibe. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh my God, and really quick, I bought a dining table today. That is my dining table. It looks so small, but it's 66 inches and she's a grower. She's got two leaves that pop. But like it's dark brown. I have no idea if it'll clash, but probably the best news of all. It comes in 12 weeks. <laughs> Woo! I think you're still gonna be living right here in 12 weeks. <laughs> Mom, if I'm still living here in 12 weeks, we have so many more problems. We need interventions. <laughs> Anyways, at the mall, didn't get a single thing regarding furniture, but I got a lot of fucking cups, so I figured, let's do a haul. We are at Bloomingdale's, and I didn't find any furniture, but I found glasses. They were having some one day sale, and I was like, Baby. And we had the nicest salesperson. <gasps> Carol! 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 Shout out to Carol. We oh my god. Never see this, I but know, but like, oh my god, I want her. I literally, we should have exchanged numbers. First thing I found were these martini glasses, and I have never seen anything. Mm -hmm. like, like, it's so tall, but this doesn't feel thin. This is how I know I'm going to heaven because I've lived through all this. <laughs> oh, I do have a haul too. Where? Oh, what did you get? <gasps> My lint chocolate. The next thing. Oh my god, so excited. Waterford crystal. Guys, look at these champagne flutes. At first, I hated these studs, and now I'm like, they might be the best part. Ooh, bubbly. Ew. She does I smell I think there good. was dust in there. And then the last thing I found took me by surprise. Last cup I got was this, and I honestly just thought as like an everyday glass for like drinking water. I definitely realize now that these are crystal made in Italy, so that's a hot take for an everyday drinking glass. It is Monday, and I uploaded my new video yesterday, which was asking strangers very personal questions. And I was reading the comments, and genuinely I'm like speechless and moved and all of that. All of y'all are saying that this is like the best street interview yet and y'all said that to the last one I put up and it's I feel like I won the lottery or something like I thought genuinely moving to the east coast like to Delaware specifically was going to be the end of my career. I thought I was gonna fall off and people wouldn't care and just that like I wouldn't be able to continue doing everything that I do and to see it be better than ever and to feel happier than ever is just a wild fucking feeling like I wish everyone could feel the way I feel right now and I just am, I've never once no I probably have taken it for granted like a few years ago when I was like miserable doing it all but I am just so honored and grateful and I don't even know I just I never imagined it going this well and Booger you couldn't find a different time to eat yourself out anyways I just want to say thank you to everybody new and old who have come to my channel or my TikTok or anything and support it the way y'all do some of the comments were like I've watched this three times already and just like, it doesn't, I, I, I can't comprehend being on the receiving end of that when I used to be the person who would watch a video three times or a movie endlessly because I loved the person in it and it was that good. I don't know. I just want to say thank you. I want to say a huge thank you to Justin Bretter, who was my filmer of street videos in Los Angeles, who's also on the podcast, and Justin Lopez, who currently films my New York street interviews. This wouldn't, none of my street interviews in would have been able to be done the way I wanted them to be done without those two people, both of which, yes, are named Justin. Just very grateful and... 
I don't know, it's crazy to feel so in my element living in Delaware. Like, who would have fucking thought? So, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for all the love. I hope they continue to just get better and better. And, yeah, feeling very grateful and very... Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I won the lottery. I don't know how to describe this. So, my mom and I are going to dinner. But we figured on the way, let's stop in at the house. The stove is in place. And templating happens tomorrow. The sink is is all in place. Small things like these ledges and closet has officially been finished in terms of baseboarding and the wood. The new doors went in, they need to get painted, but that's exciting. Good morning, it is 1023 and I am at my house meeting the counter people because they are templating. I don't know if I've explained templating, but templating is them coming to get an exact stencil of my countertop area so that they can cut the marble to the exact size. I just feel like this is too good to be true. They're gonna find something wrong. But you know what? I'm too classy for this world forever. I'm not great. Waiting for the templating people, but I just went upstairs and oh my god, having the AC working is fucking crazy. I'm like... Oh my god, wait, I have like a home in this bitch. I totally forgot this was happening today, but the painter Patrick is also here spray painting the ceiling tiles for the movie theater side of the basement black so that it's an optimal movie theater. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, they've painted the grid black. Holy shit balls, this is sick. Templating was done and honestly, I actually wasn't there because I left to go back to my mom's house because I have a scheduled jewelry delivery for a Patreon giveaway I'm doing. Link down below. I'm going to dinner with my friend Patrice who I went to middle school and uh, like lower school with. Good morning, Vegas. Let me hear you make some noise. I'm up at 6.50 in the morning um, to drop my car off to get all of the tinting removed necessary so I can register my car in the state of Delaware. I say this all with a ginormous smile because I'm so pissed off about it. I've had people look in my windows. I've had people take pictures of me from their car. I just want the fucking tinting. It makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel safe. Anyways, I'm not gonna act like this is like a real problem that anybody is having in America. It's definitely annoying because I'm getting it taken off, getting my car registered, and then getting it put right back on on Friday. I just got my car back and it's, it's so bright in here and it's so clear. I hate it. Oh my god, I hate it. I know I sound like I'm being such a dramatic bitch and I, I am. Like, I'll admit it. I feel like everyone can see me. I hate this. I hate this. I'm like having a legitimate, like, weird panic attack. What is wrong with me? Besides, like, everything. Yeah, 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 I, I heard it. It's a little bit later in the day and I'm going to pick up dinner for my mom and our family friends because we're watching Real Housewives together and I got in the car and I was like, why are my windows open? I just spent probably three minutes trying to figure out why my window wouldn't go up. It's because there's no fucking tint on it, you idiot. Good morning, it is 7.27, but I've been up since 6.30. I am on the way to the DMV to hopefully get registered my car. Anyways, sorry, I'm just still very angry from last night because I was trying to figure out what I need to bring to get my car fucking registered. Hear me out, y'all. Can we get a government website that, I don't know, the average person can fucking understand? Like, don't comment about this, like, little section of the vlog, okay? I Ooh, fuck, and I mean fuck the DMV. Just finished up in there, and because I have a lien on my car, aka I took out a loan for my car, I now need to get the title from the lien holder, and I also have to pay $2,000. $2,000. Do I not pay enough in taxes? What more do you want from me, my fucking kidney? I like efficiency. I hate this kind of shit where it's like, ooh, will I get registered today? Ooh. God, I, I could just breathe fire. I could commit arson. Like, oh my God, I am so angry. I know that the government is failing people in far worse ways. Very aware. And this is a very privileged rant. But holy fuck, I'm about to beat this bitch up. I've calmed down, I've shaved, and I learned learned that my countertops and backsplash just got quoted $2,000 cheaper, which is perfect because I'm giving the DMV slash government $2,000. I'm really trying to turn this ship around. I didn't even fucking smoke. I'm super excited to show you guys the basement because so 
much progress. So I still have to order the treads that go over these stairs, but the movie theater room is coming together so beautifully. All new lighting put in. I'm like kind of emotional. This is gonna be a stunning movie room. Now when you take a right in my basement, this is gonna be kind of the home gym I'm kind of thinking right now. We did the same tiles, but this is the original color and these were all painted black just so for a movie room it made more sense. But oh my God, even just the way they made the lights is so, ah! This is just like a lot for me to process. I don't know why it's hitting me. I guess the last time I saw this, they were like building it. It's really cool. Like this was all in my head and now like I'm standing in it. So that's probably like the latest update to the house. Good morning guys. It is Saturday and I am heading up to New York because I am filming a TikTok deal with Candy Crush. And as y'all know, I love that motherfucking game. After I'm done filming, I'm probably just gonna bop around and spend some time up there, so. Let's go! Bagels were free because I told them Chris Clemens was in the car. <laughs> I love his Fuck videos. Fuck you. So, like, everything for free. so guys, this is Justin. Have you ever no. been in a Okay. <laughs> I'm like, the one time I was, your camera was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Justin. <laughs> oh, give us face. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alrighty, I am leaving the city. I just had dinner with Justin and a few friends. I had such a nice day in the city. I love being able to come up here on just like a drop of a hat. Drop of a drop of a dime? I don't know, but I enjoyed it. I'm gonna end the vlog here because uh, I gotta get home, sleep, and then wake up and edit this. So I wanna thank y'all for tuning in to another vlog. I don't really know how many house updates were in this. Um, I feel like the house hit kind of a lull. Maybe? Maybe not. Literally vibes. The brain cells are gone. Love y'all, bye.